Hello, my name is Terry Salee and I teach 7th grade science in Hobbs, New Mexico. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about a topic that's really important to me and it's how do we handle students that have some type of a mental health issue that's in your classroom. And I know they're some of the toughest kids that you can reach. So you could spend hours <laughs> finding good strategies. So I tried to pick three that you may or may not have thought of um, to help you out. So the first one is for kids that have work avoidance, you could suggest, especially if it happens where they're always trying to avoid doing work, another strategy would be to allow them to come in early and have them preview the work for the day. So their tutoring would happen before the assignment so that they felt successful when they came to your class later when school actually started, um, they would be ready to do an assignment. And so after, that's strategy one. Another one is students that seem to blow up and they get angry fast and you just don't want to deal with the confrontation. Um, that's a time when eye contact or saying something in a, in a direct manner may not work and so you may come up with another plan. So for those type of interactions, one of the things I'll do, let's say tapping pencils sounds distract me. Students know that. That's in my socialist contracts that we make in my classes. We don't. So what I would do is just hand them a card like this and just set it on the table beside them and walk away. And it just says, please stop tapping. And generally, um, if we've already, especially if they already know ahead of time, we've come up with this as a the signal. Um, they have time to de-escalate. De There's not a one-on-one -on -one confrontation and that can help with those students. And the last thing I want to talk about, and I've talked about this in several of my uh, videos, is the positive interactions, especially for students that think no one likes them and they are always drive, they may drive you nuts. I have kids uh, that drive me crazy. I mean, they're going to do it in any classroom. My suggestion is to have positive interactions, engage them early before they've done anything that could have annoyed you, and just have a positive conversation. I have a five time rule I do, especially if I know that there's somebody that I notice that we're starting to have issues, where I will keep a little tally mark for myself. I make it a point for a week to talk to them at least five times every day and something that has nothing to do with their behavior. It could be about their weekend. It could also be a very fact-based praise, but nothing else. Um, and that uh, will over time, that definitely helps. And I've noticed that over time, I'm more relaxed, but so are they, they and our conversations improve. So definitely if you get nothing else out of this, five time rule. Thank you and I hope that you could be successful with students that have mental health issues in your class.